What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome to all the newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Pepsi beside you, everybody in between. Don't, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. I received a channel in, so I'm going to deliver it. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 11,115 11, subscribers right now. 11,115. So thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb.com. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Um, it's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, I do not publicly display your business, uh, your name, or your um, how much you donate. If you do it through PayPal, I'm um, just saying the same. Um, and, um, oh, I was going to say something else about forgot. Brain fart. Hold on. I forgot. It was something for you guys, and I forgot. If I remember, I'll let you know. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I started another channel. Um, my Glow Up series, I'm putting on a different channel. It's hashtag Glow Up. Hashtag capital G, little L, little O, little W, little U, little P. It's all together. Um, I just recently started. There's four readings over there right now for February of 2022. Um, hashtag glow up. Um, separate channel uh, if you want to check it out. Uh, um, that wasn't it, but I did want to say that to you. Okay. Okay, so the channel message I received was, an older um, feminine Aquarius with very, 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 very heavy masculine energy um, is very, very pissed at a Leo feminine um, for exposing a particular feminine energy um, um, for drug use. However, through um, she really, really, really wants to um, retaliate against this Leo feminine. However, through many shocking series of chain events, the energy is about to boomerang back on this um, Aquarius feminine, and um, it's about to come back on her tenfold. You plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates, or whoever. Um, so it's an Aquarius fem that takes on um, heavy masculine energy. So she's a feminine energy with them parts, but she takes on a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of masculine energy. Um, whoever she is in the universe, um, and however this plugs in in one's life. Um, there's millions and billions of people in the world. So, you know, you have to plug these people in your own life, however they resonate, if they resonate. Um, millions and billions of people in the world, millions of Leo Fems, millions of Aquarius Fems that takes on heavy masculine energy. So you have to plug it in your own individual life, however it resonates, if it resonates. I just want to make that very abundantly clear, okay? Um, but... She's her. She's very, very, very pissed at a Leo feminine for exposing a drug drug user, basically. Um, I'm assuming she's pissed because it's someone she's connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I mean, why else would she be pissed? You know what I'm saying? Um, if it's not somebody she doesn't associate with, or maybe maybe it's somebody in her family, maybe it's someone she associates with in some shape, form, or fashion. Someone is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge. Ooh, I heard someone's getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Huge. So somebody's getting a wake-up call. So we've got uh, realization energy in here. Somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. Maybe you um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But why else would she be pissed is what I'm trying to say. Why else would she be pissed? Um, she's connected to this drug user um, person, femme energy person, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, if she didn't... And obviously, she has positive connections with her or semi-positive connections, or maybe she's in her family. But the, my point is, if she didn't like her or she didn't know her, she wouldn't care. That's what I'm saying. So she obviously knows her or she is positively connected to her in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard she wants to do something very malicious and spiteful to this Leo feminine because she has exposed this feminine drug user, basically. Um, um, but... It's the energy is about to boomerang back on her tenfold. Um, and it's not going to go well. And it's not going to go well. 
is what I heard, and it's not going to go well. So something's going to happen to this Aquarius feminine energy. Um, she wants to do something very evil and malicious and spiteful to the Leo Femme that exposed this other Femme energy, um, but its energy is about to boomerang back on her. And her's not going to go well for her. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates in one's life. Um, Aquarian feminine energy. She could have Aquarius in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hammer, Jupiter, charts. I heard she was an older Aquarian feminine energy. Um, she takes on very, very, very heavy um, masculine energy, though. But she has femme parts. And then we have a Leo fifth. And then the feminine energy uh, drug user that was exposed. So, um you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates in one's life it's time to grow up i heard it's time to grow up is what i just heard it's time to grow up and yeah, my God, you guys. Yeah, it's time to grow up. I'm a 38-year-old woman. Yeah, it's definitely time to freaking grow up. Um, yeah, I would say so. Um, for sure, for sure. No, I didn't hear an age on the feminine uh, drug user um, that was exposed. Um, but it sounds like that's the person that needs to grow up. And, and this older Aquarian energy. I mean, that wants to do something evil and malicious and spiteful because somebody else exposed this person. Well. Maybe this person should evaluate who they're connecting with. And I'm just being serious about that. Maybe they should evaluate who they're connecting with. Um, someone is getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. I heard someone's getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious about this. You're pissy in your pants. Is it, well, not you, but you guys. But this person is pissy in their pants because this person got exposed, but they're pissed at the person that exposed them. But I heard it was in a workplace situation, but the thing is, is that's what you're supposed to do in workplace situations. You're supposed to do that. If you see a drug user in a workplace situation, you're supposed to report it. It's, I mean, period, but especially in a workplace situation, you're supposed to report it. That is what you're supposed to do. So this person's all pissy at this person for doing what they're supposed to do, but that's what they're supposed to do. And that's just, and that's true. So maybe this person needs to reevaluate their morals, laurels, values, and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm just being for real. I'm serious about that. Because that is screwed up. Spirit message is screwed up reflective. And I'm serious. Blossoming abundance upright. Door to personal healing and happiness upright. Number three or 34 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Three or 34, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible um, lottery number, three or 34, or jersey number, three or 34. Blossoming, but blossoming abundance upright. Oh, and just to let you guys know, this is not what I was going to tell you guys earlier, but I was going to say this too. The poor little raccoon passed away. Just so y'all know. R.I.P. little raccoon. Blossoming abundance upright. This older Aquarian energy is pissed at more than that. But they need to learn that people need to do things the right way. Okay, I heard this older Aquarian energy is pissed at more than just that, but they need to learn that people need to do things the right way. So um, blossoming abundance, this is about money in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, this is about money. I mean, we're pulling blossoming of abundance. Um, so I think this older Aquarian energy, obviously, they positively associate with drug drug use and addicts. Um, I would never, uh, uh, no, no, nay, 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 uh, uh, um, because because you positively associate with addicts, that's gonna get your ass in trouble. 
um, because you're going to be an accessory to information down the line. If somebody injects themselves or ingests themselves or gets shot up in a uh, drive-by by drug lords and, you know, and you're in their phone or some shit. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No. Nay, nay. Um, not for me. Um, but I heard this older Aquarius energy um, needs to learn that people need to do things the right way. So it's more about, it's more than just that. It's about money and it's about, um, obviously she likes to connect with obvious addicts, um, maybe other, and probably people of other criminal natures, um, because I heard she needs to learn people need to do things the right way. Well, um, obviously she might do things behind the scenes or she knows people that does things behind the scenes and obviously she positively connects with them. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur soon. A very high vibrational peop, uh, person is about to learn of this older Aquarius' contact list. A huge investigation is about to occur. Hidden contact list. Oh my God, whoa. Several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with the situation in a high vibrational being. So you could be the high vibrational being. We're pulling in several people in here. High vibrational being, um, whoever you are, masculine or femme, high vibrational being. You could be any sign. I didn't hear a sign on you. But I heard um, you're about, uh, about to, you, high vibrational being, you're about to learn about this person's hidden contact list and a huge investigation is about to occur. Um, maybe on her uh, older Aquarian energy or addict person or both. Um, however that resonates, I'm feeling her because of her hidden contact list. She obviously contact, um, and if it's hidden, it's like a little black book, except not of dating. It's a little black book of shifty people is what it sounds like. And I'm serious, like a little black book of shifty people heard hidden contact list. So that's what basically it is. A little black book of shifty people. Um, but you're about to find this out. High vibrational being. I don't know if you're a private investigator. I don't know if you just are very high vibrational and you are high up in the community in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I didn't hear who, your occupation or who you were, but you are significant and important enough to be able to either call to get an investigation on her or you will investigate her. However, that resonates. Um, but she has a little black book of hidden contacts for a reason, basically. Um, I think they're street people. I think they're street people is exactly what I think. Um, and I don't think they have good intentions. And I'm just being serious. Um, I'm serious. And she's very upset that this Leo feminine is doing well in her business. And others are not. But that's not she shouldn't be worried about that. Okay, I heard and she's very upset this Leo feminine is doing good in her business and others are not, but she shouldn't worry about that. So this older Aquarian energy that apparently has her feelers out to a ton of people, but it sounds like shady behind the scenes people, so much so it's a little black book of hidden contacts. I mean, so she doesn't, I don't feel she publicly displays out to the community and like maybe her family or et cetera, et cetera all the contacts um big for reasons for strategic reasons um i feel they're low vibrational contacts is what i'm saying but apparently this leo fem has a business they have a business and i heard she's pissed that the leo fem's business is doing well but other people's business is not doing well well why and i heard but, but i heard she shouldn't be worried about that and then, yes she shouldn't be worried about that because she's not the leo feminine she's not these other people so why is she why does she care so much what other people do? And I'm serious. Um, why, does she, why does she care? <laughs> so, Blossom Abundance for the Leo Feminine. Dirt, door to personal healing and happiness.
This Leo feminine has really done the work and worked on themselves. It is not her responsibility. Other people do not do the same type of work on themselves. This Aquari older Aquarius feminine needs to hear this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I heard the Leo Femme has really done the work on themselves. So they've really done the healing and the shadow work and the the important things inside themselves, basically to heal and grow themselves. Maybe they're a reader, maybe they're not, but um, they, I feel they, for some, they might be readers. For some, they may not be. But, um, but I say that because I heard they've done the shadow work. They've done the shadow work. They've done the healing work. Well, you know, you shouldn't get into spiritual work, i.e. tarot card readings or spiritualist community, period, if you have not done healing and shadow work inside yourself to be able to help and grow and heal others. Um, if you're doing shifty things behind the scenes, outside off the camera, you're a huge ass fraud. And that's just the truth. You're a huge ass fraud. If you're getting on the in the tarot community, tarot land community, spiritual spiritualist community, and you do crazy criminal behind the scenes things or 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 you're out partying every damn weekend getting sloshed drunk then you know you're fraud and that's just the damn truth so this person really has done the healing and shadow work that's why i think for some they may be readers for some they might do other um, businesses but um but they have done healing and shadow work but these other people that are trying whatever it sounds like they're trying the same thing as leo Fem's trying um and they're not doing well in their businesses, but this person is. But it's because this person has done the healing and shadow work inside themselves to make their business flourish, if that makes sense. And that's what makes me think they might be a reader. I didn't hear they were, but they might be. Uh, but these other people sound like they're competing with her. The thing is, is don't compete against her. Compete against yourself. You've got to do the healing and shadow work. If you're out partying them damn weekend and you've got somebody, you you promote your business out in the community, and then you tell the person at the gas station or you tell the person at the restaurant or you tell the person at uh, Walmart about your channel and they subscribe, but then they see you at the club on Saturday uh, half naked and you're humping some guy uh, damn near um, up on him and you drank 10 mimosas and you are so sloshed you can't even get up out of the bar stool and you're a reader, then that's not... Um, that's not copacetic because the same person you promoted your business to that sees you sloshed up on the bar stool is not as might watch your video for a minute or two, but they're going to click off because they know you're a fraud. And that's just the damn truth. Someone is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge. Someone is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, you, if you're going to promote something, you need to promote the right way. And you just need to be real about whatever you're doing. Now, if you go out and partying every single weekend and you're making videos about partying every single weekend, then okay. But, I mean, I ain't mad at you. I ain't freaking mad at you. But if you're making, if you're working in the spiritual community and you're doing readings or something of that nature and you're, you're talking and speaking about something in the spiritual realm and community about, you know, healing yourself, doing shadow work, um, growing oneself, manifesting, um, working on oneself, doing inner healing work, and then you go out and you're partying every weekend. That is not copacetic. That's not copacetic. And that's just the truth. Um, I just feel like somebody might need to hear that. But it sounds like she's doing well. It sounds like she's doing well. I mean, she's got double energy over here. But other people were secretly trying to compete with her, I think, in the spiritual community. And I'm serious. But their businesses aren't doing well. But you have to think about, I mean, what are they doing on the weekend? And I'm just being for a thrill about that, you know? I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. But you plug it in how it resonates. This older Aquarian energy wanted to travel to this Leo feminine very soon. However, many shocking series of chain events are going to occur to keep her away. Okay. 
Okay. She's, I'm pulling her in very strong. This older Aquarian feminine energy wanted to travel to this Leo feminine soon. Um, but many shocking series of chain events are going to occur to keep her away. So it sounds like she wanted to travel to her in the 3D to start some drama with her, basically. To start some drama or to stir up some shit or, or to cause strife and maliciousness in her life. Because that's the goal here. Because she knows about these other people secretly competing with her in whatever business she does, whether it's spiritual community or not. And she's pissed about it. And she's pissed about this addict being exposed very publicly in a workplace. And pissed about other things. She's pissed she's making a lot of money, too. Or making decent money. Um, but like I said, it's not her business. It's not her business. But I heard several shocking series of chain events are about to occur. She wants to travel to her soon to stir up some shit, basically. Is what I'm gathering from that. But um, several shocking series of chain events are going to occur. And it's going to basically prevent her from getting to her in the 3D is what it sounds like. Um, now, whatever the several shocking series of chain events are, that I mean, that really could resonate in a million different ways. I think of car issues. I think of maybe an accident, possibly. I think of maybe the investigation. This person may be going, you, sir or ma'am, may be going to contact this person because somehow their little black book of contacts it sounds like all across the community or country or something is some very questionable people. So that's going to, it sounds like that's going to come into play and start a huge investigation. Um, it might be that. It might be something else. Um, maybe she gets sick. I'm not sure. But um, something, several shocking series of chain events are going to occur to prevent it. So she, this is her intentions of wanting to come to her. To start up beef, to start up drama, to start up something negative in her life to give her stress, to give her strife, because she's pissed at her, because she knows about all these other people, other all these other people probably bitching and complaining at her, um, because they're doing the same thing she's doing and they're not making the same return on it than she is. But that's not her problem. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. And there's about to be very significant, many significant moves soon out of homes. And the homes will not be filled. It is going to leave huge and huge income hole for this Aquarius. Huge income hole. Because people are not going to want to move into these homes. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So it sounds like this older Aquarian feminine energy owns a bunch of homes. Someone is getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Huge. Huge. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Huge. Um, so it might be you, high vibrational person, that's about to do this investigation and check out this contact book, dirty black book of contacts, or... Someone else it might be the Leo Femme. It might be these bitchy, cripey, low vibrational people that are trying to compete with her secretly. It might be this addict that was exposed in a workplace or is about to be exposed in a workplace. How that resonates, but, um, but, however that resonates, um, this older Aquarian energy apparently owns a bunch of homes. They own a bunch of homes, but I heard many people are about. It sounds like there's about the mass exodus of people free willingly moving out of these homes this older Aquarian energy owns or manages but it sounds like she owns them because I heard she's gonna it's gonna leave her a huge hole in her income stream so that's what makes me, makes me think she owns them I don't think she manages them I think she owns them like straight up owns them owns them um but many people in these homes that live in these homes that she owns it sounds like she owns they're about to move they're about to move soon and it sounds like free willingly move um and I heard people are not going to want to move into them. So they're not going to want to rent them. They're not going to want anything to do with these homes. Um, now, why they don't want to move into them, I'm not sure. I don't know if they're under 
undermanaged, if there's not, um, if they haven't been taken care of, or if there's just some fraud or craziness surrounding the neighborhood or the situation. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard it's about to leave a huge dent in this person's income stream, this older Aquarian's um, feminine energy takes on heavy masculine's income stream because people are not going to want to move into them. And they will be vacant for a very, very, very long time. Many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with these homes as well. Oh, my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. And I heard, wow. So they're going to be vacant for a long time. I heard a long time. So nobody's going to nobody's going to move, move into it. Um, it just sounds like they're going to sit there. And there's not even going to be, like, people biting, wondering how much they're written for or whatever. Um, but, um, I heard several shocking series of chain events are going to occur with these homes as well. So they might get foreclosed upon is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they might get foreclosed upon, um, or something happens if, I mean, cause if they're, if it's under fraudulent pretenses, maybe they get taken, um, through this investigation possibly. I'm not sure. I didn't hear any of that. That's just my deductive logic reasoning. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful, wonderful choices and namaste.